So they fight for manpower and even technology. What do I mean by that? For example, Asia Finance Bank, this is an Arab bank now in Malaysia. He says he is having problem uh, retaining staff because their managers go to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. They are paid four times more and no income tax. Okay. Accountants, young accountants, if they are in Malaysia, we don't know why they are doing in Malaysia. They could be other parts of the world. Okay. We have shortage of architects. Two, three hundred of our architects are in Emirates. Uh, another 200 went down to Singapore because of the integrated resort. We also have shortage of engineers. This is a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, worldwide phenomenon. In the globalized world, <coughs> a lot of things have changed. Look at the top 30 companies in the world today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 30 largest companies in the world comes from China. The biggest company in the world, PetroChina, today has a market value of 724 billion US. The day after the general election, our stock market went down by 10%. Remember? 10% was equal to 80 billion ringgit. That means our stock market at that point in time is worth 800 billion ringgit. All our companies, our Maybank, our Sandabi and so forth, one company, this is in US dollars. That means this one company alone is worth three times all the KLSE companies. This is the globalized world. Huh? We got to compete. In the world order, the new world order, Chinese banks, the world's number one bank is Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. China Construction Bank of China. Top three Chinese banks Number one, CD Group gone down uh, because of subprime losses. In Europe, <coughs> they are tearing down borders. You can go from country one to Portugal or Spain. No immigration, no need passport, no custom. You can just carry whatever you want. Here, we cannot get a straight reach to Singapore. <laughs> We have to be careful. In this area, for example, we have China, 